I got a little something special for you today because I'm inside an abandoned funeral home with pretty much everything left behind. You have like the embalming fluid left behind, all the tools that they use to like open you up and gut you out. They have those tools left behind. They have not one, not two, but three, three hearses left behind. So I really want to show you guys what's up with this place. And uh, there is also, I've already explored this place, but there is a secret passageway that I want to show you guys. And I want you guys to speculate what's going on with the secret passage. So without further ado, let's get to it. Not much is known about this funeral home. The only notable details I could dig up are that I found the owner's ashes inside and that the last obituary from this funeral home was the owner. And just like that, we made it inside. And this is one of the first things we're greeted by is a nice looking hearse. Look at that, it's so cool looking. Wow, it's got the keys in it too. Y'all see that? It's got the keys in it. Let's see if I can open the hearse. No, you can't open it. It's locked. It might be locked from the inside. I don't see any caskets on the inside. So that's kind of a good thing, I guess. Let me see. No, nothing. So as soon as you come in here, you're greeted by not only one hearse, not two hearses, but three hearses. Can y'all see like way back over there? Three hearses. They all look in mint shape too. Perfect condition. Perfect. And that one even has the keys inside. Let me see if we can actually open this door right here. I don't think we can though. No, it's locked. That is in perfect shape. I love that. And here we are looking at the other hearse. That's so cool looking. Is this one open? Oh, it's open. Good, there's no alarm. Whew. Look at that old ass interior. Whew. What is that? I thought that might have been a casket, but it's not. Look how awesome that looks in there. So cool look. Oh, that's a Cadillac. Look at the interior in that thing. Alright, now this looks something straight out of Ghostbusters. <laughs> Except it's painted black. This one looks like it's open too, I think. Again, no casket. Still cool though. Look at that. I'm gonna zoom in on the dials real quick so you can kind of see what's going on. Look at that. Nice. Let's go in here and see what we can find. I see something through there too. Feels pretty good in here. It's not that hot. What you see here, what you say here, what you do here, what you hear here, let's stay here when you leave here. No thank you. <laughs> and look what I found already. The embalming room. Whoa, look at this mess. Look at how many tools and utensils there are. That is insane. Ooh. Could you imagine getting stuck with one of these things. God. That is nuts. I don't know if y'all can see that behind me, but look at that. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. That is so badass. The embalming table. 
followed by a head. I don't know what they really use these for. Maybe to put hair in or something. So they could decorate your hair or put a wig on you. Because I think when you die, you might lose your hair. I don't know. Leave it down in the comments. Oh! Wow. And unfortunately, I'm the only one here today. So hopefully there's nobody here. Look at all, all this embalming fluid. That's absolutely nuts. Well, look at what we have here. Looks like we have a refrigerator with nothing in it. Let's check this. Let's check this one. Nope, nothing. All right, let's move on. This is for babies, I think. Cause look how small they are. Small caskets. And then over there, you got larger ones. All right, I'm gonna open this. I'm hope, hopefully I don't find nothing that is gonna scare the shit out of me. Hold on, how do you open this? Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's nothing in there, nope. That is a heavy casket. Whew, that is heavy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and walk into the next room. Hello? Anybody here? Just taking pictures. Anyways, if I look fat today, it's because I ate Chick-fil-A. What is that? Oh, let me get my flash out. Before we go back there, let's check out this room first. It looks bright and hairy. It's nice looking in here. Yeah, so before going in that room, I want to check this room out first. This is... It looks like they had like the ceremonies here. Like the hostess would get up here with a microphone and talk about how great this person was right here. Maybe this is where the casket was. And you got quite a bit of seats here. It's a pretty big place for a small town. Not bad. And what do we have? Hello? All right, you can never be too sure. That's why I keep on screaming out hello because you never know who's back here. And the worst part is if they don't answer back, if they don't answer back, you gotta leave. You never know what they're up to. But so far I don't hear really much of anything. This is like old. What is this thing? Leave it down in the comments, but I don't know what the hell this thing does. I have no idea. That says 2019 on the calendar. I think they might have abandoned this place then. What does it say? My motto, I'm the last person you want to meet. That sounds terrible. <laughs> okay. Anybody back here? Do some smells so bad. Oh my God, it's got a basement. We'll save that for last. Jesus. Oh, so this is it. I thought it kept on going, but I guess it doesn't. This is to the outside street. Um, it says the name of it. I'll have to blank that out just in case. It's 
smells so bad in here. What does that smell? I'm curious about this door right here. See that door? Turn down that. See that door right there? I'm kind of curious. But if I use video game logic, I won't be, I won't be able to go this way because you got all this stuff in the way. I wonder what's through that door. Let me try. Let me try to push it in. What the hell is that? What the hell? Oh, wait a minute. You can go behind the walls in this place. What the hell and why? <laughs> what the hell? Can we open this? Oh. What the hell does that lead to now? You got so many different passages in here. Look at that. It goes way back, but I'm not going back there. Look at all this stuff in the way. So I'm guessing this is where they did all their work in computing at. I'm really curious to see what the hell's going on outside. I'm really curious. Make sure I'm not in trouble. Uh -huh. Nothing going on, I don't think. Oof, it stinks back here so bad. I want to know what that smell is. Okay. Alright. Let's go see what we can see downstairs in the basement. Hello? even work? No, it does not. Power's off. Hello? There's nothing under here, I don't think. Oh my god, it smells so bad. What does it smell? Is that from Meldrahide? I'm really curious to see like why this place closed up. Here's some old bottles. It looks like an old hope chest. Um I don't really think this leads to anything. I think it just leads to underneath the basement of the building. Yeah, it leads to nothing. What is that saying? That looks like a sensor over there, but why is it under? Beneath the building, and not above the building. I don't know. All right, let's move on. All right, y'all. That's uh, that's everything. I showed you pretty much everything this place has to offer. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about that secret passageway I told you. Like, what do they have inside of there? Um, that just boggles my mind, and I don't really feel like moving everything because if I move everything, that would take me at least an hour and. Unfortunately, the sun's about to go down and I don't have much time, but leave it down in the comments. Tell me what you think is down there. We already explored the basement. That was cool. That was like grade A stuff. Not much down there, but it is creepy. And it doesn't portray well on a camera, but trust me, when you are down there, you get, you, you like feel like you're on edge almost. And like with the smell that's down there, it, it increases the height of the fear, if that makes any sense. It's, it's kind of hard to portray that on camera, but remember to like, share, and comment on this video. And without further ado, that's it.